Tis the season to get out of town and joining me with a few of her favorite spots that include holiday activities is travel expert Marsha Frost. Marsha, we got to clear Hi. one thing up in the beginning here. We have yep. the same last name, but no relation. No and this relation is actually at all. The first time that we're meeting. I so. know. Well, welcome to CI Living. Thank you. I've actually Thank been you. around here for 10 years doing CI Living. <laughs> well, I'm super excited to sit down with you because I know you have an incredible list today to share with us on yeah. various places that people can travel that are what, within a three hour drive? Yep, all of them are within three hours and they're all kid friendly. That's awesome. So you can bring the family. I mean, of course, you can also do date night if you want, but it's great to bring the family this time of year. I know the kids are off from school and you're all done enough cooking oh, and shopping and it's, and it's time to do something fun. And you know, changing the scenery can be a big game changer for you know yeah. how a family operates. I know with my kids, yeah. they go stir crazy if they're in one place oh, too yeah. long. So. And I don't know about you, but holiday lights just make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> Totally as soon so. as I see holiday well, lights. Well, let's hit the list. So number okay. one, we have, it uh, looks like St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, I think that's probably my favorite. That's like a Hallmark movie town. I mean, it's just at Christmas, everything comes alive. Oh, it's just cool. beautiful. And they have um, Dickens celebrations and ca horse-drawn carriages and all sorts of interesting. It's just lots of fun. You can basically just walk around the town. And just kind of soak the it all in mm -hmm. as you go. Yeah. Well, you had me at Hallmark Movie Town because yes. that yes. that I, that painted the picture in my head, and oh, now I've got yeah. to go see it. Yeah, um, it's just beautiful. Next, we have Galena, Illinois, which is similar. They have this night of luminary and living windows, which is something very hard to describe. But basically, they have scenes in the windows like Macy's would put. Only there are live people, cool. <laughs> that, like living portraits. Living portraits, That's yeah. Awesome. So it's really so cool. Um, it's happening December 9th this year, but the town will be going with all sorts of interesting things throughout the holiday season. Oh, that is so cool. Now the next one on the list, I, I find myself surprised that I forget we're not far away from Chicago. Oh no, no. Chicago Two hours to downtown. Not far away. Two hours to downtown. And if you don't drive you can take a bus or a train. That's right. So it's very so easy. It's so easy to get to downtown Chicago and there's a lot of things to do in the holiday. I'm just mentioning some of them, yes, but yes. you can find more. Navy Piers light up the lake. I love Navy Pier. That, oh any time of year you can get me to Navy Pier. It's so beautiful with that blue water. And the lights are just beautiful. Um there is a Chris Kingle Market in Chicago, which is pretty cool too. It's the oldest, one of the oldest in the Midwest. And Zoo Lights, Lincoln Park Zoo. Oh, I love Lincoln Park Zoo. I've, I've been to some Zoo Lights in different parts of the country. That mm. is a truly special experience. It it's beautiful. There's something about being in the zoo at night with just Christmas the lights everywhere. And the skyline, and it's just beautiful. And then um, Timothy O'Toole's, which is a, a really, well-known restaurant there has a pop-up with different cocktails and mocktails and oh, chocolates so and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Indian. Now we only have a few more minutes, so I okay. want to make sure we hit some of these right. other ones. I, I also see Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Christmas at the zoo, a much bigger zoo than Lincoln Park Zoo, so they have a lot going on. The and then Rockford, children, Illinois. Yeah, is, the Children's Museum there. Rockford has a festival of lights, and the Japanese Garden are oh. really cool. And Fair Oaks Farm, which is about an hour and a half from now. Here, I went last year, they have a great Christmas thing. Starved Rock Park is all set up for Christmas and trolley tours. Oh, and then of course, trolley St. Tours. Louis. Yes. Oh my God, we have the holiday lights everywhere, the Polar Express and the Gateway Arch is all ready uh, for even New Year's Eve fireworks. And then last, Wildlife Prairie Park just outside of Peoria has a Santa's Wildlife Express. That is so cool. Now, stuff. I'm sure a lot of folks have been to these places, but I'm assuming that during the Christmas time, everything is just a little bit different and worth it revisiting to yes. get that experience. Definitely. Now, yeah, and prices get, are a little different too. Yeah. So you oh, have to check that out. So make sure you do your research ahead of time, which you can do on your website for all of Marsha's travel tips. We'll connect you at our website, yes. ciliving.tv.